All right, now I'm going to talk about women and men's long-term strategies. Um, women will seek long-term strategies for good financial prospects, prospects, high social status, older men as we discussed before, athletic prowess, uh, ambition and industrian, uh, industrious, whatever you want to call it, um, dependable and sta stable, athletic, I think I meant, love and commitment, willingness to invest in children. Now, they did this one study where they wanted to see what was valued most in relationships, and it was love or mutual attraction. So, if you don't have love, chances are you're not getting laid. So make sure that she thinks you love her. I mean, make sure you love her. Um, the other thing, so why would men actually want to have a wife, is the question. If they could just mate with anyone who they wanted, you know what I mean? Um, the answer lies in, one of the reasons is that estrus is the time when a woman is most uh, fertile and she's most likely to get pregnant. Women can seal this because ovulating, having a period, isn't something that's glorified in our culture or many other cultures. So they did an experiment actually where women who were in estrus wore less clothing to bars. And it was really interesting versus women who were not in estrus um, were ovulating who wore actually le uh, more clothes. So next time you see a chick and she's dressed up in short skirts, you gotta think, she's probably really horny because she's an estrus. And then, you know, you might have a better successful attempt at mating with her. Yeah. Uh, marriage actually increases the odds that you'll get a mate because they want someone who's gonna take care of their children. Um, you know, kind, intelligent, understanding, healthy, shared values, a lot more of the emotional stuff. Um, in all cultures, men valued physical attractiveness more in a potential mate than women did. Women value more emotional stuff. Men value physical attractiveness. Not a surprise. But why is that? Hmm. Let me tell you. Uh, they have related symmetry and... Uh, clear skin and things like that with more attractiveness. But what is that related to? That's related to the ability to void off genetic and environmental stressors and parasites. So the less parasites you've had, the better you are at avoiding off environmental and genetic stressors, the more physically attractive you are, the better your genes are, the better your kids' genes will be, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's why one of the reasons why we value attractiveness. Um, yeah, and that's about it for, oh, men also find, this is very cool, waist to hip ratio, that it's about, uh, I think the women's ratio is 0.67 to 0.80, waist to hip ratio, that that's what we really value, not big, big, fat, small, whatever it is, but women who are found attractive consistently have, like, a curve.